So having looked at the not news, what was the real news that you needed to know in 2010? There was the BP oil spill, the signing into law of the health care reform bill, the earthquake in Haiti, the midterm elections. These were all need to know stories and the media covered them pretty extensively. A lot of things happened this year that you may not know about. Stories that did not receive the attention they deserved. For example, did you know that other nations like China, Russia, and Brazil are on the verge of replacing the U.S. dollar as their global currency, putting at risk our entire economy? Probably not, because the news media was too focused on Lindsay Lohan's drug binges and arrests. Did you know that the U.S. Department of Defense became the world's worst polluter this year? Or were you too focused on the royal wedding between Prince William and Kate Middleton? Did you know that the U.S. Customs and Immigration Enforcement Agency is secretly depositing tens, or, excuse me, deporting tens of thousands of immigrants in shadow courts across the country and holding thousands more in unlisted ICE detention facilities? Yeah, but the news isn't covering this. After all, not every day does Mel Gibson leave angry voicemails on his ex-wife's answering machine. While it was reported that the U.S. is engaging in covert military actions in Pakistan, did you know that the private mercenary firm Blackwater is also across the Pakistani border planning targeted assassinations of Taliban and Al-Qaeda members? Oh, wait. That news broke around the same time that LeBron James was trying to decide what city he was going to play basketball in this year. Did you know that officials in the Bush administration, including Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez, were about to be charged with war crimes by the Spanish government for their role in authorizing torture until the Obama White House stepped in to essentially force Spain to stop their prosecutors and judges? Or maybe that was the week that Rick Sanchez was fired by CNN and all the other media outlets had to cover that story instead. Did you know the stats and information regarding the swine flu epidemic last year were manipulated to increase demand and profits for pharmaceutical industries in the U.S.? Of course, that news must pale in comparison to Sarah Palin starring on a new TV show and her daughter nearly winning Dancing with the Stars. You see, events took place this year that are changing the entire global landscape, but most Americans are completely unaware of them thanks to the failure of our news media and their new thirst for infotainment. Instead, you have to go to independent news sites like ProjectCensored.org to find out the news you need to know. The degradation of our news media is a major problem facing our country. As Thomas Jefferson was fond of pointing out, our democracy hinges on an informed electorate capable of electing representatives to choose the right path for America. That's why even in times of struggle and uncertainty, our country has prevailed. It's essential that we know the truth, the whole truth. As Abraham Lincoln said, let the people know the facts and the country will be safe. Well, this year we didn't get the facts. We didn't the year before that either. It's a trend that's been occurring since Reagan blew up the Fairness Doctrine, tearing down the wall between news and entertainment divisions and networks, and our newscasts were sold to corporate interests with motives of their own. The news you need to know is often hidden, and next year we need to shine more light on it. If we do, as Lincoln said, our country will be once again be safe. I intend to be here doing my part, and hope the rest of the media will get in with the act.